Hello folks, it's Schmieder and I wanted to give you some picture demos of how to complete your birdhouses if you either missed the demonstration or if you just want a refresher or if you're at home and you just want to do one of these cool birdhouses. This is a technique I learned from Georgie Ceramic and Clay Company, so if you ever take one of their workshops, this is kind of one of the projects you can expect to see. So first we have a little photo of all of our supplies that we're going to need. We're going to need a cardboard tube. Um, the size that we want to make our birdhouse. We have a needle tool, a rib for smoothing. I have a roller and some water just so we can get going and a little bit of newspaper to wrap up our tube. That's actually the first step. You want to wrap up your tube with newspaper. This will help it not stick to the inside and help you get it out when you are finished. If you don't finish your birdhouse in one day, do not leave the tube inside because as your clay shrinks, it'll pinch the tube and you won't be able to get it out. So you can see there I tucked the clay or tucked the newspaper around the bottom of the tube so that it'll be out of the way. And then we can proceed to get our slab ready. Our slab, we want to cut it uh, the height that we want, the birdhouse. And I textured the slab first so that when I cut the edges, they were nice and clean. Then you're going to wrap your slab around the tube making sure to scratch and attach the edges together. And this is where you can use the roller to roll up the sides and kind of zip it up so it's all nice and clean. And you can see in this photo that the edges where you put it together are smooth now and it doesn't match, match the texture. So at that point, you want to take your mat or your roller or whatever tool you're using and re-texture the seam. And it won't line up perfectly, but you can kind of get it close so that it doesn't draw attention to where you connected the slab. Next, you wanna cut out a small slab for the bottom, and you want to make sure that that is a little bit larger than the outside of your birdhouse so that you can wrap the edges down and around. And here you can see I use the roller uh, to smooth that out and make sure it kind of pinches in the sides so that as it shrinks, it shrinks as one piece. After that, you are free to cut the hole out of your birdhouse. If you want it to be for a small bird, it needs to be about an inch and a quarter. And if you want it to be uh, for a larger bird, an inch and a half is good. And may make sure you take into account the shrinkage of uh, the clay so that you make sure the hole is gonna be big or small enough depending on what you want. And the Autobahn has a great website for your area about how to uh, cut the, the hole for that. Um, after you've cut the hole, you can take the tube out, use the newspaper if necessary to kind of slide that tube out of there. For the lid, we're going to make a circle. Um, depending on how big you want, you can make a big circle for a big flat roof. And then you're going to guesstimate about a quarter of that circle and cut a wedge out so that you can make it into a cone shape that will fit on top of your birdhouse. There's a nice little picture of the cone looking good. All right, and then after that, you're gonna clean up all the edges, smooth out the top, make sure that everything looks nice and clean for your little tiny bird, and then you're going to poke holes in the bottom. And here you can see in this photo, if the hole is at 12 o'clock on the, on the circle, if you imagine a circle on a clock, your holes are gonna be at three and nine, so kind of perpendicular to the front of your birdhouse. You also wanna make sure the holes are right up against the edge of your birdhouse so that birds don't injure themselves on the wire inside your birdhouse. So don't put it right up through the middle because that can be really dangerous. You're also going to poke holes similarly on your lid, making sure that they're just inside where the wall is. So the string will come through the base of your birdhouse, up through the lid, and then be connected at the top into a circle. So as you can see, there's tons of different kinds of birdhouses you can make. Uh, really creatively, you can sculpt and add a lot of texture. Texture is your friend. It'll help hide all your glazing mistakes. And I'm excited to see what kinds of uh, projects you guys come up with.